So the other day we did uh, stick angles and we went through those. Uh, you can review, just go up on the channel and you'll see that. Um, now we're gonna go through the blocks that we use for those angles of striking. Um, so the first one, Michelle's gonna hit me just like, she's gonna try to cave my head in. So straight, straight ahead, boom, just like this. Now obviously, stick always goes first. Um, a lot of times people will reach for a weapon, so if she goes to hit me, not uncommon for people to do things like this, which of course exposes your arm to danger, um, you know, stick wins every time. So if I've got a stick and my attacker has a stick or any kind of bludgeon, what I wanna do is I wanna impact the stick and the hand if I can. So it's two points of contact. It's called an umbrella block. And basically all we're doing is wiping our body. So as the strike comes in, I'm in kind of my guard position or whatever. As the strike comes in, I'm just making a 90 degree angle between the angle of the stick and my stick. Okay, and then we'll talk about that in a second. So she hits me with the number one. All I'm doing is this, and you can see, I'm trying to stop her hand and I'm trying to stop the stick. And when I say 90 degrees, what I mean is in, in a couple of different planes. I mean, not only in this plane, you can see 90 degrees here, okay? But I also mean 90 degrees, I don't wanna do this and have the stick slide through and hit me. I don't wanna do this and have the stick slide down and hit my hand, all right? So you wanna be as perpendicular as possible with the stick as it's coming in. So again, she hits me with the number one, all I'm doing is this, right? Now, the obvious strike out of that, we'll go stick, uh, we'll do defense and then, and then strike. If you look on that block, my elbow comes up, right? So my, she goes to hit me, all I'm doing is this, right? Now all I'm gonna do is bring my elbow down, okay? So it would come down into her head, okay? So basically, I won't do it, but she's gonna strike me here, all I'm doing is this, okay? And then she would use a version of the umbrella block, obviously, like you just saw. So now the stick angle two is that 45 degree angle coming up at, at, at here. If I'm doing straight umbrella blocking, she comes in to hit me here, all I'm doing is, again, my elbow goes up, two points of contact, good perpendicularity, and then boom, I come across, and I'd strike her. Okay, so one, she gives me the first strike, boom, she misses that, she gives me the second strike. All I'm doing is taking that block, and I'm moving it like a windshield wiper, just like this, around the bend, okay? So I get this strike, and then I can also get this strike. So she's gonna give me the backhand now at a 45 degree angle. She gives me the backhand, all I'm doing is the same thing. Two points of contact, good perpendicularity. So give me one, two, three. Okay, she hits me here, boom. She hits me again, boom. She hits me here, boom. And all I'm doing is, again, I'm, I'm creating that block. Always being prepared to strike after my, uh, my block. If she comes down for the low strike, down here into my ribs, all I'm gonna do is take my hands and I'm gonna cross them because obviously I want the stick to protect my arm. I don't want my arm to protect the stick. So again, she comes up into the ribs, all I'm doing is this, and I'm gonna step into the strike. With all of these, you wanna step towards the strike because obviously the strike would be less effective. If she goes to hit me with a number one and I fade and I do this, we always talked about like the velocity of the tip being what does the most damage. That's what's gonna move the fastest, that's what's gonna hit me the hardest, right? So I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is I wanna, give me a number one, I just wanna step in because I wanna keep that weapon from developing full power and force, okay, and full momentum. The, the backhand here is the same thing. I'm just gonna wipe it off like this. Obviously she gives me the backhand of my ribs. I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna step in the direction of the strike, all right? So we'll go through all five of those angles. Okay, number one, I'm gonna step to the strike. Number two, step to the strike. Number three, step to the strike. Number four, step to the strike. Number five, step to the strike. Now, if you saw number two in that one, I did the uh, alternate method of blocking. So in other words, she gives me number two, I can do this, no problem, and there's my, my, my follow on strike. But I can also, based on where my stick is, if she gives me number two, I can do the same thing across my hands here. Okay, so again, it's six one, half a dozen, uh, half a dozen of another. The thing that's good about the um, umbrella block is that you can just drop that elbow and immediately counter strike. So let's go through them again, one through five. And I can get both alternatives on two. So hit me with two twice, okay? So number one, she hits me overhead. I'm going here, bang. Number two, under, number two, over. Number three, backhand, bang. Number four, right here to my ribs. Ooh, number five, right here to my ribs, bang. Just like that. So that's just a simple way to handle those angles um, and have immediate follow-on strikes. Now, we talked about the other day how to hold the weapon. There's a variety of different strikes that we can do that are immediate, that are on half beats. 
Um, I'll give you an example of those. Michelle is not going to block these. Obviously, she knows how to block them. She just, I'm gonna prevent her from doing that so that you can see what's going on, okay? We'll go real slow. She gives me the number one. I come in here, bang. All I'm gonna do is take the puño and go straight to her face, okay? So again, without even dro dropping my elbow all the way, she gives me a number one. I'm just doing this and I'm coming straight forward right into her face, okay? Alternatively, she gives me a number one, I'm here, boom, I'm gonna drop my elbow and crack her right on the, on the head, just by doing a quick motion like this. So you can hear that, the block, and then the strike, the immediate strike. Very, very hard to, to uh, defend against, okay? Off the number two, she comes here, it's the same thing, drop my elbow, or if I go under with the alternative block, she hits me here, and I do this, I'm gonna go low and take that lead leg. Boom right here to the inside of the knee, the, the thigh or whatever. Okay, so she gets me with the number two here. I come under and I'm coming straight across like that and then over the top. Okay, number three, she gives me the backhand. I'm here, all I've got to do again is take that lower strike, bang here, or she can alternatively hit me here, just bring my elbow across my body, bang, and I'm right into the face again, okay? And alternatively, you can see what's going on here, right? So it's, it's, it's this motion, the abanico motion, right, where there's a block and then a strike, a block and then a strike, okay? That fanning motion is what, um, if you look at the old World War II Marine videos where they were uh, being taught by Filipinos uh, in, in World War II, the Raiders, you'll see a lot of that technique with the short stick that Biddle was a big fan of, okay? Uh, and that's just a little bit of a blurb on, uh, on defending the stick.